Hi, I'm Ranger Rangel, and today I'm going to talk to you about the white-tailed deer skull. So this is a pretty common animal that we have here in Central Texas, and it is an herbivore, meaning that it only eats plants. And a way that you can tell that it's an herbivore is by looking at its teeth. So it only has molar teeth. It doesn't have incisors or canines, which would be used to chew or rip apart meat. Another thing to notice about the white-tailed deer skull is the placement of its eye sockets. So they're sort of at the side of its head, and this gives the animal the ability to look around because this animal is actually considered prey. So whenever it's able to look around like this, it can see if it's being stalked or snuck up on by a larger animal or a predator. Um, however, that, doesn't, that gives it sort of poor depth perception because it can't look directly in front of it at, a, at an object like we can. Another fact about the white-tailed deer skull is that you can tell the sex of the animal just by looking at the skull. So as you can see here, there's no places for antlers. And that makes this a female deer skull. The difference is pretty obvious, and you can see that here by looking at the male deer skull. So this one has pretty big, very clear antlers. Antlers differ from horns because they're actually made out of living tissue, and the deer shed them every year. So thank you for tuning in and watching my nature nugget on the white-tailed deer. Have a good day!